Ever wondered why bees sting? They're fascinating creatures that are crucial for pollination and honey production. But when they feel threatened, they'll defend themselves with a sting. In this video, we're diving deep into bee stings and understanding the science behind them. And exploring bee behavior along with our human reactions. Stick around to learn more about these incredible insects. Let's take a trip back in time. To the day when an ancestral bee decided to transform its egg-laying ovipositor into a defensive weapon. This is why only female bees can sting, a rule that holds for all bees and wasps. Evolution remodeled their ovipositor for venom injection instead of laying eggs. To understand, bees release isopental acetate, a chemical that smells like bananas or almonds when they sting. This chemical acts as a distress signal often leading other bees to join the attack. So, who has a stinger and what is it like? When a worker bee stings, it doesn't just leave its stinger behind. It also parts with its digestive tract, nerves, and muscles. And that's why it dies after stinging. Now, let's talk stingers. Stingers and venom glands are exclusive to workers and queens. Drones, the male bee, on the other hand, are stingless. So, why do bees sting? Contrary to popular belief, bees aren't inherently aggressive. They sting only when they feel threatened or believe their hive's safety is at risk, aiming to protect their offspring, reserves, and their queen. Several factors can make bees more aggressive, including sudden movements, strong scents, or dark-colored clothing. So, when visiting an apiary, avoid fragrances, wear light colors, and remain calm and composed. Beekeepers aren't bee whisperers. But our experience and understanding help us to work harmoniously with the bees in our care. We know how to move calmly around bees, interpreting their signals and responding appropriately. Although we may develop some immunity to stings, we are still susceptible. So, protective gear, a steady demeanor, and cool smoke are essential tools for our work. So, what are the reactions to bee stings? The bee's venom, or apotoxin, contains various compounds. Some people might experience mild, moderate, or severe reactions to bee stings. And, reactions can vary from localized pain and swelling to severe allergies. So, knowing how to react and seeking medical help when necessary is vital. Bees are incredible creatures, and understanding their behavior can help us coexist with them. So, remember, respect and a calm demeanor go a long way when interacting with these essential pollinators. If you found this video informative, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more intriguing insights into the natural world. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you in the next episode.